Hi, in this video we're going to learn how you can actually create a PayPal account from non-supported countries in 2023. So the PayPal account you're going to create in this video, okay, it's going to be verified, you'll be able to send and most importantly, you'll be able to receive and lastly, it will have no limits. So if you go on YouTube right now and search for how to create a PayPal account in non-supported countries, okay, you're going to find two, my vid two of my videos of which are currently trending. So the first one is how to create a PayPal account in nine supported countries in 2021. So this was the video I made in 2021. Then I also made another video the following year in 2022. Okay. So why am I creating another video this year when you can simply follow the methods this in these videos which I made? Well, this is because okay the reason why PayPal is not available in your countries well the reason is simple because okay because these are tricks and when it comes to tricks tricks don't last long okay so so in this video you're not only going to learn about how to create a PayPal account in 2023 you're also going to learn about if you've tried creating a PayPal account by watching these videos and if you run into some errors such as getting your account permanently disabled or not allowing you from creating any more accounts or limiting your account permanently in this video i'm going to explain why that is happening and how you can actually fix those errors so make sure that you watch this video to the end okay i know some of the things i'm going to talk about we're going to find that i already talked about in these videos but make sure that you watch the video to the end so that you don't miss certain points and so that you don't get your account banned okay so before i start the tutorial let me first talk about these videos so the account i created for two years ago okay it has actually worked for two years okay it recently um it recently uh got limited by paper because people requested for some information but i've actually used the paper account to receive more than two thousand dollars in total yeah over the past two years and it has really worked the other account I created, okay, uh, yeah, for it, uh, which I created last year, actually, is still working, okay. So, in this video, we're going to create another account, and we're going to see how it's going to work. Hopefully, it will last me five years or so. That would be awesome, okay. So, let's get started. So, how do you create a PayPal account in 2023? So you can use your phone, you can use your laptop, but in this case I'm using my computer, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open an incognito tab, this is very important. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm simply going to enter the URL, pay. Okay, paypal.com slash AE. Okay, so in the past two years, we created an account from South Africa, we created an account from Singapore, but this time we're going to create an account from Dubai. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click where it's saying open a business account as usual. Okay, we we'll always have to open a business account for this to work. Then now here you'll be requested to enter an email address which is not connected to any PayPal account at all so let us see so we're going to give this one paypal 2023 at k3ns.me so if this account works if you'd like to donate some money to me i'll appreciate so paypal 2023 i'm going to click on continue then let me choose a password of which i can actually remember and should be secure okay i'm done typing the password so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on continue then now this part you have to enter your legal first name and your legal last name so here these are my legal names then legal business name so here this is a business you would like people to see so you can enter your your full legal names okay if you've got a registered business you can actually use that name so in this case let me just try to enter what i usually enter always which is basically uh basically catherine's okay then the phone number here we're asked to enter a phone number but the good part about creating a business account is that you can actually change the 
country code and enter your country code and enter your own number but when you're creating a people account you will not be able to change this so i'm going to scroll down to zambia and simply going to enter my number here and remember like if i've created a paper account and it got um and it got disabled or restricted please use a different number if you do if you use the same number again your account will also be banned or restricted so in this case i've never had any of my accounts like banned okay i've only had accounts uh, got limited because when they ask for information of which you cannot provide they will limit you like in terms of withdrawing and receiving so otherwise i've done nothing wrong so my number is okay so let me just enter my number and just try to remove the zero there okay so now on the address part in the previous videos will be you we have been using fake address generators which generates random uh, uh, which generates random addresses from countries okay the thing is everyone who creates an account will use those random generators and paypal is good and smart so you need to stop using those random address generators which i mentioned in the videos and try to find a real address so i've got a way but it doesn't seem to be good at all okay yeah it's good to you but okay let me just show you what i'm trying to say so now to find an address since we're creating a paypal account from dubai okay uh let us try to search for uh, website designer in dubai so yeah i'm a website designer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to find uh, a design agency in in dubai and we're going to get the address so we're not going to use a fake address generator we are simply going to copy an address of already existing businesses okay so why am i saying this is bad because we are you are using an address which does not belong to you and that does not seem to be legal at all so if i plan on using this method make sure that you're not doing anything illegal because we're going to affect the business not only that that's against paypal and can seriously face a lot of legal problems and do not want that so let us continue so, so what i'm going to do so here is a business so this is the address business bay okay then i'm going to simply enter in okay so the city is dubai primary or leave it us dollar the city is two i'm going to enter the same dubai then additional information business bay okay now the pure box we do not know the pure box for business bay square so let's try to search for it on google so let us say uh po box of so here is a business square over here so we're simply going to pick this money here which is saying uh 404 then we're going to click on agree and continue so let us go through and check if everything is okay here i'm supposed to enter my last name not zambia okay so always remember to go through what you've typed to make sure that there are no errors so i'm going to click on agree and continue then now here you'll be asked the business type select individual swap proprietorship so as i said earlier on i'm going to choose website designer and doesn't seem to have this Okay, I'm going to choose the first one. So I have the website. So I'm just simply enter. Okay, I'm going to leave out this part for now because I already entered the website to my other PayPal account. I'm going to click on continue. Then here, when it comes to this part. You have to enter your legal details as well so let's start with it uh the day i was born so i was also born on 90 wow and today is actually 8th of january and actually tomorrow it's my birthday so can you guess how old the beginning 
so I think okay, let's do this yeah so tomorrow is my birthday okay so if you're going to watch this video okay try to guess the year I was born yeah guess the year I was born and if you guess it correctly I'm going to give you this account or any of my paper working accounts and you no longer have to create one on your own so I'm simply going to give you one of my accounts for free if you guess my birth year okay and I think this information is available on the internet so I think try to do your research and if you guess it correctly well this paper account you're creating or any of mine will be actually yours so the month is of course January so the year I'm going to blur out this year you want to be able to see the year so simply comment the year I was born if you guess it correctly this account will be yours so give it a try okay the nationality remember I said that has to be the go choose your nationality as for me I'm from Zambia so I'm going to click Zambia and choose an identity document and enter in for now let me try to enter a driver's license so let me just try to get my driver's license okay so here's my license so i'm just look for the license number and i'm going to enter it right here and i'm going to click on submit okay so the people account creation is now done and the, as you can see okay we've got a dashboard which shows the people balance and i've got nothing in it which is okay so so as you can see we are saying that we want to confirm that the information your paper account is accurate as you've noticed some suspicious activity in your account to understand this better we need more information from you you will need to provide the requested information to regain full access so click on see details okay so now i'm being requested to upload a photo id okay this is not a big deal this will work as long as the information you entered is real is your legal details so let me just upload my photo id so remember if you use your id number upload the uh the photo of the id used in my case i use a driver's license so what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload the driver's license okay so uh so let me just simply uh take some photos of my driver's license using this phone real quick so i'm going to open up my camera okay so i'm not done taking photos uh of the id so now let me upload here so remember to upload both front and back just to avoid unnecessary re-uploading of the ids when they refuse so i'm going to click on submit so today it's sunday so i'm sure by tomorrow they'll be able to review and i'm going to have access tomorrow okay but before i end the videos there are some more things i promise that i should talk about and we also need to verify the email address so let's just do that okay so the information has been submitted so go to account limitations so now the last step is to confirm your email address so 
click on confirm email address okay click on unconfirmed then click on confirm this email address then now let me just check my inbox okay so this is the email from paypal saying confirm your email address so i'm going to copy this link because okay i'm i'm using an incognito tab so i'm going to paste it in this tab over here and click on enter so to confirm the email address you need to enter the password that you used so let me just do that okay so i've confirmed my email address so now the only thing i'm waiting for is simply for paypal to review the document if it won't be accepted i'll submit my analysis yeah so this is the first step and with this paypal account you've created you'll be able to send you'll be able to receive okay then now the most important part is when it comes to withdrawing well there are a lot of ways now you can actually withdraw paypal funds okay so in the coming days i'll make videos on that on how to actually withdraw so make sure to subscribe to this channel for part two of this video and in the same part two that is where i'm going to make an update if this account was if the id was accepted or not okay i also talked about that if you watch this video to the end i was going to explain what to do if your account gets limited or if your paypal decides to restrict your account after creating or if paypal decides to ban or disable permanently just after creating an account like what makes paypal do that and what to do to fix that unfortunately this video has really gone far so i think i'm going to make another video tomorrow to be part two or part three so make sure that you subscribe to this channel for you not to miss the video so if you learned something from this video, give it a like. For more videos like this, go on and subscribe. Bye for now. This is Keith.